Shalom Israel. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakak Kadash, that by honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and Shalom to the elect. And in this video, in this lesson, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, I want to get into um, brothers speaking in tongues, you know. Uh, and there's videos of all of diverse uh, tongues, man. Which the word tongues, when you go into it, it means languages. All right. And um, as I was thinking, getting into this video, I actually ran into a brother, um, Yahweh side one forty four. He actually uh have a playlist called GMS Tongues. All right. Now we go through it. All right. Which um, I know the other Apostle Gabars, you see. Um, the mailback extra his page is GMS 144 I mean it's like it GMS uh, walk and talk 8 and from time to time he goes into the Ita Italian does languages in Italian all right you see brothers uh, doing uh, lessons all right translating it from the Hebrew into the Spanish and, and vice versa all right the brother and uh, I'm not sure what language this is it says, Yesu Cristo Ye Bibini. All right, the brother in, uh, you know, that tongue out, out in Ghana. All right, the brother in, in, from the Philippines speaking in, in, in uh, the, you know, the, that, that tongue from the Philippines. All right, more videos in Spanish, of course. Another video in uh, Italian. All right, the brother. GMS Naposh, all right, going into uh, uh, their language, the, the, the Turkish language, all right, the brothers, uh, well, I know the brothers out there in Miami, you know, they go into lessons uh, going into the Creole, so they bring the word out in Creole, the brothers out there in Miami, and GMS Miami, okay. The brother, oh, the brother in the main camp, message to the Israelites of Poland. Okay. Another one, which I'm not sure exactly what language this is. You know, it could be, I, I don't know. Don't get me the line. Okay. Oh, the brother out there in Germany speaking German. All right. There's another one, a few more I had seen. All right, you see more brothers doing the work, pushing the word in Spanish. All right, because Israel scattered throughout all four corners of the earth, and it, there's plenty of scriptures on that, man. All right, Habakkuk, I believe the first chapter, Isaiah the eleventh chapter, Isaiah the tenth chapter. Um, Nehemiah goes into how people were scattered, Ezra, you know, because our people have been scattered, you know, since really back since the uh, time of the Assyrians, man. You know, when it, um, the northern tribes were taken out of the land, all right, and brought over and, um, you know, brought into Syria, and then they were brought, um, and then they came over here to the, uh, you know, to the U.S., man. You know, then you had different diasporas. You know, our people were enslaved by many different, um, um, many different uh, nations, all right? So, whether, you know, that nation might have ruled in their province, guess what? They needed slaves to build it up. I.e., that's where you get, you know, our people, uh, you know, where it's, um, that's where you get our people um, being scattered. All right. Our people flee uh, persecution, you know, and even to this day, well, our people, you know, they might be stationed um, in a particular place for the army and they might like it there. You know, they might meet a woman online or whatever and they might move there. So there's many reasons. Nonetheless, our people are scattered, as the scriptures say. All right, you even have it to where Akim, it says right here, Def GMS Camp Holland, you know. So there's brothers in Holland are pushing his word in sign language, man. You know, you have the brother in, uh, I believe the brother in, um, yeah, this GMS Romana, you know, the brothers uh, are pushing the word in, uh, um, in that language, man. You know, I'm not sure exactly what language that is. I'm guessing Romanian. 
You know, the brother out there in the, um, the UK camp. You know, there's another uh, camp, the brother, and uh, he's pushing a word in French. All right. And I'm pers- the purpose of me bringing this out all out, okay, is to show that there will be no excuse for when Jacob's trouble comes. All right. And Jacob, as I mentioned before, is scattered through all four corners of the earth. So Jacob's trouble will inherently be everywhere, man. You know, and it's because of you so-called black, Hispanics, and Native Americans and a confusion of faces. All right. Which your lineage goes back to the so-called black, which your lineage goes back all right, to Israel, all right, to uh, uh, Israel, which Israel um, had 12 sons, all right, and his sons today are predominantly the so-called Black, Hispanics, and Native Americans, all right, or Salakia are the so-called Black, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you know, in a confusion of faces that go back to the, um, you know, to, um, to the sons of Jacob, all right, Issachar, Judah, Gad, so on and so forth. All right. But point being is that Yahweh Hashim Yahweh Shah, he's making sure he's covering all angles so that when he, he comes back, he's blameless, man. Okay. So this is Revelation chapter 3. And 19. As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him and will sup with him and he with me. So Yahweh Shem Yahweh has brothers going out there on the highways and byways in their perspective parts of the world. You know, pushing his word in their perspective language. You know, the language uh, conduced, uh, um, you know, of that uh, country, you know, and, you know, as I'm speaking... It makes me think you have the brothers in GMS serving and pushing the word in Dutch, man. You know, so as I said, there is nothing. All right. Every, every, uh, as you say in the world, all, all T's will be crossed and all I's will be dotted, man. You know, basically meaning the most high is going to make sure he's justified at when, um, that destruction comes upon you tribes, man. Okay. You know, going into, um, you know, some news over here in the U.S., you have uh, one, it's called the biggest, one of the biggest ice raids. So lock it, one second. Yeah, man, you have one of the biggest ice raids in history. I was watching a video on that, you know. Basically going into you uh, so-called Hispanic tribes over here in Americas, man. You know, which even if you don't speak English, as we just went into, there's brothers doing videos in Spanish. It says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him and will sup with him. So here it is. The Lord is knocking, but you choose not to answer. All right. And why is the Lord knocking? All right. Um, the Lord is knocking. Uh, basically, you know, so you can be saved from these trying times, man. You know, which we know only the elect is going to really hear that, hear the, um, hear the knock. You know, hear this word and understand the word, all right, and fear and, and move with fear with it, you know, into the west, into the rest. Well, the scriptures say two thirds um, are appointed to destruction, but the one third shall be brought through the fire. But point being, it says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. So, Yahweh Hashim Yahweh Shah is at the door. And what's the door? He, he's at your mind, man. You know, this is why he's got his men out there constantly, week in and week out. All right. And I'm speaking of the men of Great Millstone. You know, you have other camps out there, you know, as far as, um, you know, as apostles call them the alphabet camps, you know, pushing his word, you know. But as I went into Great Millstone, the most I had it to where, you know, we have camps all over the world, man. It's preaching the word in diverse tongues, man. All right. So the most I standing at the door, basically meaning he has his men out there in the highways and hedges. All right, uh, put bringing this word out to you, man. You know, as the scriptures say, how the word is um sharpening any two-edged sword. You know, so he's making it plain, man. He's making it plain upon tables. It says, "Behold, I stand at the door and knock." All right. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him and will sup with him and he with me. 
All right, and then it goes into if you actually hear, um, you know, the words it says to him that overcometh will I grant to sit with me in my throne, even as I also overcame and sat down with my father in his throne. He that have an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. Okay, so yeah, how about Shinya was shy? You know, he's standing at the door knocking, man. You know, but soon that knock is, you're not, you know, people take, you know, uh, you know, like people take the news for granted. You know what I'm saying? Or they might take, uh, you know, um, warning. They take warning for granted. You know, they take warning for granted. In which it's going to come a time to where we're not going to be out there in the highways and byways, man. You're not going to um, hear us, uh, you know. Uh, getting on you of, of your wickedness, man. You know, and then that's when death is gonna come. All right. But um, you know, you're gonna have to give account of your works. All right, of that day, man. Whether they have been good or whether they have been evil, man. You know. Now and this is uh, let's see Romans. Because through the Spirit, man. This is why I believe the Lord is dealing with us with great millstone. Because um it's like yeah, I'm trying to like think and you know find uh scriptures. Let's see. So I'm I'm gonna just jump straight to the point. Let me see. First Corinthians. 12 and 7 but the manifestation of the spirit is given to every man to profit with all now and this is apostle paul speaking to the church of corinth and for those who actually um you know go out you know those of the fold you know those that hear the word and go out there and preach this is basically saying that everybody has their particular lot when they come into this truth for to one is given a spirit of the word of wisdom, to another the word of knowledge by the same spirit. All right, so one brother, you know, is good at the Proverbs and the Ecclesiastes. To another faith by the same spirit, to another gifts of healing by the same spirit. Another brother is good in the exhortation videos. To another the working of miracles, you know. One brother might be good at, um, you know, as far as um the herbs. To another prophecy. You know, one brother heavy in the prophecies, which the scriptures say covet to prophesy. So we should all try. We should all covet to be heavy in the prophecy. To another discerning of spirits. To another diverse kinds of tongues. You know, so according to the Lord's ministry, He's going to give us all to profit, and it's not just for you yourself to profit. It's to go out there and strengthen your brethren, man. As the uh, Yahweh Shai told Peter, without strengthening. Convert thy brother. All right. So as I said, or as the scripture just said, we out there, you know, knocking on the door. We out there uh, trying to uh, strengthen you. All right. But you choose not to listen. So therefore, you will have no cloak for your iniquities, for your sins. All right. This is Romans chapter 14. Verse 11. For it is written, as I live, saith the Lord. Every knee shall bow to me, and every tongue shall confess to God. So then every one of us should give account of himself to God. There it is. Every one of us should give account of himself to God. You know, and in that day, when that's why they call it Judgment Day, because you're getting judged for your iniquities. All right? And the Most High is not going to judge you for something that you don't know about. He's going to judge you because you know about it, man. You know? You know, and you won't have no, as the scriptures say, uh, your sins shall be your accusers in that day. The fact that you didn't listen, that's going to be even even a more uh, um, judgment upon you. All right, going into Judgment Day, this is 2nd Edges 16, which you could actually start at verse 
the whole you could read the whole chapter of second Ezra 15 and going to the then going to this chapter 16 and this gives you a vivid um outline of how judgment day is going to be so this is second Ezra and judgment day for those who don't know it's when the hour of martial law to when you're forced to take the chip all right to where you're starving to where uh esau is coming down having great wrath that's judgment day you're being judged for your iniquities all right so this is second entry 16 and 64 therefore have the lord exactly searched out all your works and he will put you all to shame and when your sins are brought forth ye shall be ashamed before men and your sins shall be your accusers in that day what will ye do or well, how will ye hide your sins before god and his angels behold god is the judge fear him leave off from your sins and forget your iniquities to meddle no more with them so shall god lead you forth and deliver you from all trouble because that's what we're going to need we're going to need help in that day and the most High is not hearing you you know if, if you still got some a sense to pay for man that's why the lord said what um what the scriptures even say that man the fear of the lord is a beginning of wisdom all right and it's, the scriptures also going into how it was created with the faithful in the womb you know wisdom was created with the faithful in the womb you know so that's why we warning our people all right which as i said before i'm gonna say it again only the elect a certain few 144,000 of you will understand man you're gonna you're gonna hear that knock and you're gonna open up you're gonna straightway open up the door for the lord man you're basically basically meaning you're gonna um submit your mind until you how about shimmy i was shot all matthews 5 and 45 that ye may be the children of your father which is in heaven let me see Okay, I'm just uh jump straight to the point that ye may that ye may be the children <laughs> It says that ye may be the children of your father which is in heaven, for he maketh his son to rise on the evil and on the good. Alright? And um that son could also go into wisdom too, man. Because the scriptures say wisdom maketh a man's face to shine. You know, so he maketh his light or his wisdom. Which um the scriptures even say also in Proverbs 6 that the law is light. Alright. Alright, so the most high is is, is, is shining you his word upon you. Alright, upon those that is meant to get it and those that are not meant to get it. But either way, it's being shined upon you. You had a chance to get it. For he maketh his son to rise on the evil and on the good, and send the rain on the just and the unjust. So everybody, you know, got that, got the word. Damn. Uh, it was another piece that I had in mind, but I can't remember it. Let me see. Nah, it is what it is, man. But, you know, Lord willing, I can we're edified. Remember, man. Remember, uh, fear Yahweh Hashim Yahweh Shai. Because there will be no cloak in that day. There will be no, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know. Yes, you did. You know, the Most High got this word going out there in all four corners of the earth in every single language, even in sign language, man. You know, so with that, Shalom to the elect.